Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My dear brothers, my dear sisters, as we enter into the hour of divine mercy, the great hour of the Lord, that he opened his gates of mercy before all of us. At this hour, whatever we ask before the Lord, the Lord is able to give us and answer all our prayers. So, today, let us meditate from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 7, verses 37, 38 and 39. On the last day of the feast, the great day, Jesus stood up and proclaimed, If anyone thirst, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart shall flow rivers of living water. Now, this is he said about the Spirit, which those who believed in him were to receive. For as yet the Spirit had not been given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. Dear brother, dear sister, right now we read this gospel passage Jesus proclaimed these words standing in the middle of the temple. He said that if anyone thirst, let him come to me and drink. And he who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart shall flow rivers of living water. The image of living water Jesus have given us. He want to speak about the Holy Spirit. Another important term, important name that Jesus have given for Holy Spirit. That is living water. When we look into the scriptures, we can see that there are two places where in the Old Testament we find, as Jesus told in the scripture, about the living water is told. The first incident is in Exodus chapter 17. When the people of Israel traveling through the desert, they came to a place called Masa and Mariba. There, they were not able to have water. There was not even a single, single stream which gives them water. And all the water which they were carrying and that became empty. So people were wanting of water and they were fighting against Moses and arguing and getting angry with God because they have no drinking water. So at this moment, when Moses cried before God, the people doesn't have water. God asked him, go and stand on the rock which you see and strike the rock with the rod in your hand. And as soon as he struck the rock, the rock was split from the center, from the depth of the rock. Water flowed like a a river. And that water is named as the living water. 
in the same manner we find in the book of ezekiel chapter 47 where prophet ezekiel had the vision of new jerusalem and in the new jerusalem there will be a new temple and that from the temple from the altar of the temple there shall flow a small stream and that stream lord asked the prophet to enter into that stream when he entered into the stream it was only up to his ankle he measured 1000 feet and entered into the water again the water became up to his knees again he measured 1000 feet entered into the water he found that the water is up to his waist again he measured 1000 feet and entered into the water there he found it has become a very big river only by swimming he can cross the river such a big river and by the two sides of the river there were trees filled with the fruits and the water in that river was so crystal clear water dear brothers and sisters right now jesus bring these two incidents two images and he says that anyone who believes in me from his heart there shall flow the river of living water so in such a way as a big river is flowing with the rushing force as on monsoon water flowing in the river in the same manner from the believers heart there shall flow the rivers of living water that is what uh, jesus described that means the power of the holy spirit is flowing from the heart of each and every person who believes in jesus and that is going to take place not simply a normal flowing of the water but a water with much force rushing water and such a force the power of the holy spirit will be active power of the holy spirit will be functioning upon a believer the one who believes in me will have this gift of the holy spirit dear brother dear sister right now many of us those who attend to this divine mercy adoration we know that most of us are believers but when we look back into our life we are not able to experience such a rushing force the power of the holy spirit is flowing from our heart as jesus is described out of the believers heart there shall flow the river of living water that experience is absent from most of the believers the so called believers why that experience is absent from us when we look back into the scripture into the word of god we can understand that 
through saint paul the holy spirit has spoken to us in ephesians chapter 4 verse 30 saint paul said that do not grieve the holy spirit of the lord because you were marked with a seal for the day of redemption we are all marked with a seal for the day of redemption when we received baptism the holy spirit has put upon us a mark for the day of salvation and the holy spirit has been given to us but when i and you break the commandments in our life live a worldly life not according to the will of god but against the will of god breaking the commandments committing sin enjoying the pleasures of this world what we do is that we grieve the holy spirit that means because we have grieved the holy spirit though holy spirit is upon us given to us on the day of uh, for the day of redemption holy spirit has been given to us the holy spirit is not active in us it became silent it became in a into the moments of dormancy and because of this reason the power of the holy spirit is which has been given to us is not manifesting upon a christian who has got the faith in god faith in jesus but the power of the spirit is inactive due to our unfaithfulness towards the keeping of commandments and again in the book of jaramaya chapter 13 verse 17 we read that the word of god says that my soul will weep in secret because of your pride see that if we have got pride if we have got a sin in us and because of the sin the holy spirit will weep holy spirit become sad once the spirit become sad spirit will not be active it will become inactive and remain in a dormant stage and again in first thessalonians chapter 5 verse 19 saint paul said that do not quench the holy spirit when i break the commandments what we do is that we are making the holy spirit inactive dead because holy spirit cannot work upon us when we are against the will of god when we live a life against the will of god holy spirit cannot be active the holy spirit which has been given to us the indwelling holy spirit in us that indwelling spirit warn us the indwelling holy spirit guide us the indwelling holy spirit prohibit us from committing sin but we don't hear to the voice of the holy spirit 
once we denied twice we denied thrice we denied the voice of the holy spirit then the holy spirit will no more speak to us and there is no response from the holy spirit the spirit became dormant in us so dear brother dear sister in this situation what happens we continue in the sinful ways of our life enjoying the pleasures of the world and till we met with certain destruction certain sickness certain afflictions in our life our eyes will not be opened our heart will not be opened dear brother dear sister we know that every breaking of the commandment brings punishment because it is sin sin brings punishment when the punishment of the sin enter upon us then only we understand and our op- our eyes will be opened till that time we continue in our sin this is what happens with the many of the believers and because of this reason the presence of the holy spirit within us is not at all felt dear brother dear sister is not the christian life now jesus said now you have to born again then only the holy spirit will be active upon you nicodemus to nicodemus jesus said in the gospel of saint john chapter 3 verse 3 unless you are born again from above <coughs> you will not enter into the kingdom of god you enter the kingdom of god only you are born again born again means not bo- not again we are again we have a rebirth that is upon our body but a rebirth takes place upon our spirit how that rebirth takes place when i committed sin disobeyed god and his commandments the holy spirit became dormant and our own spirit also became inactive and it must be made alive the holy spirit must be made alive for that what we need is that we need to repent repentance only can bring us to the rebirth of the holy spirit upon us so once a believer is ready to repent forgo his sins and start to live a holy life that moment the holy spirit will come once again upon us and the holy spirit will start to live upon our spirit and that experience is called rebirth born again experience and the power will be active and the power of the holy spirit will be manifesting upon us and if the power of the holy spirit is manifesting upon us the holy spirit is alive active upon us then naturally it will flow from the heart of one person to the other just like mary filled with the holy spirit 
went to went to her cousin elizabeth as soon as she visited elizabeth from the heart of mary the holy spirit entered upon elizabeth see the river of living water flowing from the heart of mary to elizabeth praise the lord Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Dear brother, dear sister, in the same manner, we are called by the Lord as Mary became a channel of Holy Spirit anointing power to Elizabeth. Each and every one of us should become a channel of the power of the holy spirit let us pray that the power of the holy spirit may flow from our heart let the living water flow from our heart sweep away all the pain from our heart sweep away all sin from our life and brings upon us a new life yeah hallelujah. hallelujah dear brothers dear sisters the book of ezekiel chapter 36 verse 25 lord spoke to us i will sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean from all your uncleanness and from all your idols i will cleanse you the power of the holy spirit is the living water the living water will cleanse us and that cleansing power of the holy spirit has flown from the heart of jesus when jesus died on the cross we see the divine mercy picture in the divine mercy picture we find water and blood is flowing from the heart of jesus in the form of two kinds of rays one ray is white other rays are red the white rays symbolizes the water the living water that flowed from the heart of jesus and that living water that flowed from the heart of jesus it uh, cleanses our spirit cleansing our spirit is taking place dear brother dear sister when a soul participate in this great prayer our soul is cleansed from the past sins past sinful addictions of our life the idols that we were keeping in our hearts are the addictions that we keep in our life idols means the addictions addiction of lust addiction of alcohol addiction of uh, unforgiveness addiction of anger see different types of addictions have come upon our life that are called idols in our heart so the idols will be removed and cleansed in our heart our spirit will be cleansed by the holy spirit so holy spirit has a cleansing power cleaning the entire portion of our heart gives a new heart gives a new heart a clean heart praise the lord praise, praise the, the lord. lord hallelujah 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 dear brother dear sister we need to understand that unless the holy spirit washes our heart never i and you 
can stop committing sin the tendency towards the sin is removed by the gift of the holy spirit so because of this reason saint paul said in romans chapter 8 verse 13 if you live according to the desires of your flesh you will die if you kill the desires of your flesh by the power of the holy spirit the living water the power of the holy spirit that kills the addictions the tendency of sin once a person commits sin the tendency of sin enter upon us and he has got the tendency again and again to commit that sin that must be removed unless that is removed again and again we will commit sin fall into sin so that grace is given to us by the power of the holy spirit praise the lord praise the hallelujah. lord hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank, thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus so dear brother dear sisters let us pray that that spirit shall be showered upon all of us today hallelujah 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 thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah hallelujah jesus jesus heal us lord heal us lord jesus jesus heal us from all our sins heal us from all our sins from all our addictions from all our addiction to sin hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah